Hi, in this video, we will discuss the kinematic study of particles. We will learn how to use the rectangular coordinate as well as the normal tangential coordinate to find the kinematic parameter for a moving particle under rectilinear and also curvilinear motion. These are the reference books that you can use in this study. I will cover the dynamic part where it can be divided into kinematic and also the kinetic. Under the kinematic study, these are the parameters that we want to find. For example, for a linear motion, we want to find the displacement, velocity, and acceleration. For rotational motion, we want to find the angular type of displacement, velocity, and acceleration. We will cover the linear motion, rotational motion, as well as the plane and phase motion in 2D and 3D. You must know the difference between particle and rigid body. For a particle, it can only perform the rectilinear motion or the curvilinear motion. For a rigid body, it can perform translational motion and also perform the rotation. The main difference between the particle and rigid body is the particle does not perform rotation. During the motion, we assume that a rigid body does not deform. This is a very important assumption in the dynamic study. If the body can deform during the motion like this, then this is called elastic body and the body can be deformed during the motion. Bend your mind in the vibration study, we frequently use the elastic body where we assume the body can be deformed. And in this study, we are focusing on the dynamic study where we assume the body is rigid and undeformable. And also we will cover the kinetic part where we will learn about the inertia, work and energy, impulse and momentum. So for the linear motion, you will deal with force, linear momentum as well as the kinetic energy. The kinetic parameters that you are interested to determine during the rotation motion is about the torque, angular momentum and the kinetic energy due to it. You must know the main focus in the kinematic study and also the main focus in the kinetic study. In general, the kinematic study is the first part of the dynamic that is concerned about the geometric aspect of motion. What we are interested in this study is we want to know the displacement, velocity, acceleration of the moving body with respect to time. For example, the heater here would like to know what is the height of the ball will drop and at what velocity the heater should expect to hit the ball. We can predict this kinematic information if the initial velocity and initial position of the ball are given here. By the given initial condition, then we can predict the motion of the ball in terms of displacement, velocity, and acceleration. So this is called kinematic study. In the kinematic study, we only focus on the motion and we are not interested about the driving force of the ball. For example, the force that causes the mass of the ball to move with acceleration. So in kinematic study, we only focus on the motion which is the acceleration part. And we are not focused on the driving force. Once we found the kinematic information of the ball, such as displacement, velocity, and acceleration, then we can use it for the kinetic study. So, kinetic study is the second part of dynamics, which concerns about how force causes the motion. In the kinetic study, we focus on the driving force that causes the motion of the ball. Also, we are interested to know what is the associated energy to drive the ball. 